Darren Woodley right here uh, with another employee interview, and I'm sitting here with uh, Drew Anix, uh, who's our relatively new director of operations for RPS, um, and got a number of questions for her today. But I'm maybe just to start off, I want to ask you to introduce yourself. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your career path here at Coppers. Yes, um, so I've been here for almost six years, uh, six years in December. Um, you know, my, my career path, I went to school for chemical engineering. Okay was lucky enough to find a, a job in Pittsburgh, yeah. uh, not at the, the time I thought I would find a job okay. in Pittsburgh. Um, and I figured I was going to the Gulf uh, of Mexico okay. yeah. and working on an oil rig is what my is that right? original plans were. But uh, lucky got a, a job at a, a chemical plant just north of Pittsburgh and uh, manufacturing operations base is, is kind of my, my start. But anyways, I uh, joined Coppers uh, about six years ago in process safety, yeah. which was in the zero harm group. Yeah. Um, spent some time in the corporate engineering, and now I'm in RPS. Okay, Drew, so just get a little more personal background about yourself. So are you from the Western Pennsylvania area? Tell us a little bit about your family, kind of what's important to you outside of Coppers. Yeah, I grew up uh, just outside of Pittsburgh uh, in a suburb okay. of Pittsburgh. Um, went to the University of Pittsburgh, so okay. born and raised in, in Pittsburgh. All right. Um, and I live just by the airport now with my family, uh, okay. my husband and three little ones. Three little well, ones. Getting bigger. Yeah. So how old are your How old are your uh, little ones now? Twelve, ten, and eight. So how do you balance? How do you balance? Again, a, a big job. Um, you know, you're you're covering a lot of facilities that obviously aren't in here, aren't in Pittsburgh. So you've got travel and stuff associated. With. How do you balance all that with a young family? Oh, they, they say it takes a village, <laughs> and that, that you know phrase I never quite understood what it meant. Yeah. Um, but as my my family grew, I I quickly now understand. So we have uh, borderline codependency in my neighborhood. Uh, we have great neighbors, um, great family that that is nearby. Some family. Yeah. And um, I'm I'm one of uh, three siblings uh, as well, so I've got I've got you know brothers and sister uh, who can help. So a, a good support structure then yes, is, is, which is critical. Critical. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So and I know you're you're very involved in you know the uh, ERGs, the employee resource groups here at Coppers, both link parents, link women, you know. Um, and you're also involved in a number of the sustainability initiatives too. So, you know, tell tell me a little bit more about those experiences and how they played in. And I'm guessing, obviously, with your personal situation, that's probably made you passionate about being involved in a lot of those things, right? Yes. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, was, when I when I first joined Coppers, I, it was like, hey, join uh, Link Women. That was the the ERG, the the one ERG at the time. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, hmm, okay, yeah, this seems like a, a good good way to, to network, meet people. New mm -hmm. to an organization, I thought, you know, how am I going to, to get to know uh, not only, you know, people in Pittsburgh, but, but outside as well. Um, and, you know, that kind of just evolved into wanting more of a, a you know, leadership role mm -hmm. in that organization. And then um, Link Parents came around uh, during COVID. And as my children grew, I, I felt more passionate about um, you know, having a support system within Coppers, um, plenty of support outside of Coppers, as I mentioned, but, you know, having colleagues and coworkers that are, you know, have little ones, you know, around the same age or, or now I've found a value in, you know, ones that have older yeah. children who yeah. I can kind of uh, reach out to and say, you know, how did you handle this phase of, of your, mm -hmm. your, your child's life? Um, and, you know, that's really been a, a huge uh, kind of, it makes you feel at home at, yeah. at work. So Drew, you know, we, we make a product that seems, you know, pretty simple on the surface, right? A treated cross tie. Um, and uh, we serve the, the mostly the class ones, although we, we do have a commercial business too. But, you know, 75% of what we do is to, you know, small five or six customers. Um, so it all sounds pretty simple uh, on the surface. Uh, do you find it as simple as you kind of come into this? Because you're coming from the outside, uh, you've not been in that industry, or is there a complexity sort of underlying all of this that, you know, again, folks who don't or who aren't involved maybe don't quite appreciate or understand? Yeah, and one thing that I'm really discovering as I, I've get, gotten into the role is uh, really the, the complexities of, of the class ones and, okay. the, and the railroad in that. You know, we are a supplier to them. Yep. Um, they're our customer, yep. but they're also a bit of a, a supplier to us, right? Mm -hmm. we, yep. we rely on them to provide 
uh, switching. We rely mm -hmm. on them to provide rail cars and, and things for our, our operations to, to run successfully. So uh, that uh, is, is unique. It's yeah. something that I, I wasn't really thinking about uh, okay. prior to being in this role. Um, and, and it could be a challenge, but also uh, it's, you know, it's exciting and rewarding. Okay, Drew, I've grilled you enough, so I'm going to now get into what we call the Fast Five. So, you know, five uh, questions for you that, you know, just looking for your quick response on. So, okay, you ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, one, if you could have an unlimited supply of one thing for the rest of your life, what would you pick? I, this one's hard because <laughs> too much of anything is a bad thing. Uh, true, but you got to pick one. So okay. Um, health. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Imagine you could teleport anywhere. Where would you go right now? Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii? Because? Uh, because I just was there, and I, if I could teleport there and not have to fly that many hours, I would. Yeah, uh, and I was going to say, I shouldn't have to explain that, right? Hawaii. It's who, would, who wouldn't want right. to teleport there? Exactly. Right. So what's one movie or TV show that you never get tired of watching? Friends. Friends. It's, I enjoy that as well. Hmm. Uh, what piece of advice would you share with your younger self? Slow down. Slow down? Okay. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? Oh, um, rappel down the side of the Coppers Building. Okay, okay. For, yeah, for uh, for Leukemia Lymphoma Society, yes. and we thank you for that. So that's that's awesome. Okay, great. Now you get to turn the tables on me to the extent that you want. Is there one question that uh, that you have for me that you like to ask? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I was hoping you'd say no. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, what excites you the most about Copper's future? I, I'd say just. Um, you know, some of the growth opportunities that, that we have in, in our utility industrial products business, obviously we, we bought that business and got into it, you know, five, six years ago um, with an intent on being able to grow it. We're challenged in some of our other businesses to be able to do that. So to have something that we actually can um, either grow through organic additions and geographic expansion or through some selective acquisitions, that's exciting. Um, and, uh, you know, and I, you know, we, we, we just have an interesting portfolio of businesses. So to continue to try and optimize them and, and continue to grow a, a, a bigger and better and stronger coppers is, uh, is I think is for certainly what keeps me going every day, but there's obviously a lot of challenges every day. And, you know, um, this year's been no shortage of that. Next year will be no shortage of that. And we'll just have to figure our way through it. But, um, but you know, uh, on balance, a lot of good things going on. So. Great having you, Drew. Uh, great having you on the team at Coppers. Thank you for taking the time to share some of yourself with uh, with the viewers out there. And until I see you all again with the next 412, or until we interview, um, take care, everybody. Thank you.